boys and I have been cooped up inside way too long so we just kind of went for a drive to find something to do we brought the fishing stuff with us but we weren't really expecting to get like a ton of fishing in but we ended up stopping at Utah Lake and man I was not expecting the fishing to be that good that was awesome right guys Welcome back to the Utah Fishing Channel. This video is all about how you can catch fish at Utah Lake. If you find this information helpful, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, we post new videos on Mondays. If you use the methods that I talk about in this video and you're in the right spot, your chances of catching a fish are really good. So stick around till the end of the video and I will show you what some of the places look like that I like to fish and also what I use when I go to those places to catch things like white bass, largemouth bass, catfish. Utah Lake is absolutely full of fish but if you're not familiar with the lake it can be really difficult to find them. It definitely seems to be true that like 90% of the fish are in 10% of the water at Utah Lake. When you're fishing it's important to know the places where the fish like to hide out. It seems like anytime you're looking for any type of wild animal you'll find them in near hiding places or water sources or food sources. Really the same thing seems to be true with fish. If you're fishing in an area where there's no vegetation, no deep water, no rocks, uh, or no food. So if there's nowhere to hide or there's no food, you're probably not gonna catch anything. Once you've found the spot where the fish are in the lake, you've already won more than half the battle. So that being said, the places I find the most success at Utah Lake are the places where rivers or streams flow into the lake. Um, they carry a constant flow of food and often have a lot more vegetation surrounding them. Springs that enter the lake either from the shore or from beneath the surface of the lake are also really good places to find fish on Utah Lake. The springs tend to provide a consistent water temperature during the hot and cold months that fish really seem to like. I had no idea this was here, but there's this water just kind of bubbling out of the ground. And that water is actually, it's warm. It's coming out of there. It's not like really hot, but it's definitely warm. It flows right into the lake. The boys and I found this spot at Utah Lake. I'm sure there's tons of other people who come here, but it seems like there's some kind of warm spring that's flowing into the lake here. So I'm assuming there's gonna be some good fishing, especially in the cold months like we are in now. Okay, set that hook, set it, set it. There you go. Is there one on there? Dude, keep the, keep the line tight, you're doing great. <laughs> keep the line tight, don't wave it around so much. There you go, buddy. You real good, man. real good. He's got it. Bring it in, bud. Keep the rock tip up. Nice. Here he comes. Woohoo! Another one. Yeah, this is like a white bass feeding frenzy, huh? So when I'm fishing for smaller fish like white bass, largemouth bass, or smaller panfish, I like to use streamers. They can be used on a fly rod or a spin rod, doesn't really matter. If I'm using a spin rod or a fly rod, I usually just put one or two large split shot right in front of the streamer. 
For white bass, I like to use a white streamer, and for largemouth bass, I like to use a black streamer. Right through here, obviously you can see there's a lot of other anglers. Usually that's a good sign, but we're just jigging this, this white, uh, almost marabou jig type thing that I tied. It's like a white streamer with a weight in it. I'm using it on a spin rod. I'm sure a white curly tail jig would be fine. Oh, I got a bite. In fact, I've used a white curly tail jig on Utah Lake before. There we go. And the white curly tail jig seems to do well as well. Yeah, here you go, bud. It's a beauty, huh? You want to let him go? Yeah. Go for it, bud. Tay Tay, we got one. We got one, Tyler. Smokes. I literally just cast that thing. I didn't even jig it once. Oh, it's back! Dang! This is crazy. They're going nuts. They're going nuts. This is like the white bass spawn in December. When I'm fishing for larger fish like catfish, um, white bass meat actually works really well. You got little legs?